My name is Takumi, and I'm 15 years old. If I was a regular kid, I would be starting high school this year, and going to the karaoke, or playing at the gaming center after school with my friends, but... Hey, Takumi! How long are you going to take to fix that car? Hurry up with that car and start working on this one! Okay! Tch, the customers are waiting. I swear, you're always so sluggish. Do you really think that I can make you responsible for my store if you keep acting like that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about my son. I want him to take over this store and place soon, but he isn't getting the hang of things very well. Oh no, sir. I admire him for doing all this at such a young age. I'm in no hurry, so just contact me when the work is done. Yes, sir. My apologies. I swear you. You caused trouble for that customer again. Do you not feel responsible for the fact that you're going to be taking over this place? Ugh, damn it. I'm hungry because I had to tell you. Go buy me some food with this money! Okay. I didn't have the luxury of worrying about school. I started and ended every day at my father's auto repair shop. Hey, let's go out today. How does bowling sound? Ooh, sounds good. I'm super good at it. So I'm gonna get three strikes in a row and score a turkey. You said it. If you hit the gutter, I'm going to expose you on Twitter. Bring it on! I'm so jealous of those high schoolers. If only my mom was still alive, maybe she would have let me go to school. Wow, Takumi, you got 100% on the test? That's so amazing. I bet you're gonna grow up to become a doctor. <laughs> mom, 10 years since you've been gone. Right now, I don't even go to school, and I constantly fix cars together with my dad. I wanted to try and become a doctor. One day... Excuse me! I heard this auto repair shop has a skilled worker. Yes, welcome. Which car do you want to get repaired? It's this one. Whoa, that looks terrible. I don't think there's any worth in repairing that. It's going to be difficult gathering the materials to repair this. So I think you're better off buying a new car. I completely understand that, but this car means a lot to me. The other repair shop sent me away, but someone I knew told me that this auto repair shop is skilled and might be able to help me fix it. Please, isn't there any way you can fix this one? I already told you that I don't want to. This car is just going to take up time to repair, and there's no worth in it. You should hurry and sell it for scraps. Come on, please! You're so persistent. I told you I don't plan on or even want to fix it. Um, if you want, I can take a look at it. I'm still an apprentice and not as skilled as my father, but... You'll do that for me? Just like my father said, we'll need to replace a lot of the parts. It might add up to be a little expensive. I have no problem with that. I'll pay as much as I need to. Please, just try to fix this car for me. Please. The customer seemed so upset to be turned away, so it must have been a really important car for him. I accepted his request because of that reason. But, this looks like it's going to be a harder job than I had imagined, but, after taking a closer look at it, it seems like it looks like junk because it's just old, but the damage on the body of the car isn't too bad. I worked on this car in the spare time I had while working on other cars, so by the time I finally finished the repairs on this car, it had been a whole month. I apologize so much for how long it took to repair this car. No worries at all. I'm just so thankful that you fixed it. Oh, it looks almost brand new! Thank you so much. I don't know how I could possibly thank you. I'm glad to see how happy you are. Please, take good care of it from now on. Of course! As he said that, the man happily drove home. The next day... Hey! We have no more oxygen sensors, so go out to buy some! Oxygen sensors? Was there a car that needed repairs on the oxygen sensors right now? Stop standing there looking blank and head out to buy them already! When I stepped outside the auto repair shop, there was an expensive looking car parked outside for some reason. I wonder what an expensive car wants at a place like our store. Based on how good it looks, it's gone through some good maintenance and it doesn't seem to need any repairs. Whoa! She's so beautiful! She's rich and beautiful! It's almost like she lives in a different world compared to me! Are you Tamaki-kun? What? Yes, I, I am! 
So it was you that fixed my grandpa's car. Thank you so much. Your grandpa's car? You repaired a broken vintage car recently, right? That was the last birthday present that my late grandfather got me. After my grandfather passed away, I didn't touch the car because of how upset I was. By the time I realized it, the car was in horrible condition. Thank you so, so, so much. Uh, of course! If that car was that important, it makes me happy to know I was able to repair it. Anyways, you have a really nice car. This is the Mani Mani Automobile Corporation's recently released car model, isn't it? Ma'am, are you perhaps super duper rich? <laughs> You're so adorable. My family is actually the owner of the Mani Mani Automobile Corporation. My father took over the position of CEO after my grandfather passed, and now I'm basically the next CEO in line. Wh what? Money, money, automobile corporation, and then the money, money, automobile corporation. <sighs> That's crazy. I never would have imagined that I would get the opportunity to meet someone important in the money, money, automobile corporation. By the way, weren't you heading somewhere earlier, Tamaki Kun? Where are you going? Oh, I forgot. I need to go buy some car parts. Ooh, I see. Maybe I'll come with you. What? Why? Is it bad if I do? Well, it's not bad, but car parts shops are really dirty, so you might get your clothes dirty and things like that. So what? You're gonna decline my offer? Even if you do, I'm gonna follow you anyways. Come on, get inside. I'll drive you there. Just like that, she forced me inside her car. And so, Chihiro-san and I headed to the car parts shop. I'm sorry that you have to drive. It's totally fine. So, where do you want to go next? Um, what do you mean next? I'm going back to the shop to work. What? You're working again? How many hours do you work? When's your next day off? The shop is open all year round, so I don't really have days off. I'm also not enrolled at school, so... What? You don't go to school? We can't have that. You're still so young. Let's go have some fun right now. Yeah, but I have to go back or my dad is going to be angry with me. Don't even worry about that. Let's go have some fun. Is this... a gaming center? Yep. A gaming center is a perfect hangout spot for students, isn't it? Let's go! We're going to get a stuffed animal at that crane game right there and play shooting games over there after that. Okay! Forgetting about time, we played crane games, shooting games, and racing games. We played every single game that we set our eyes on! Phew! That was so much fun! I think this is the most fun I've ever had in my life! <laughs> that might be a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> Wait, what? Look at the time already! I'm going to be in so much trouble if I don't head home as soon as possible! Don't worry. Just say that you had to go around a bunch of stores because you couldn't find the parts. But- Come on, I'll drop you off. Let's go back to the car. When I returned to the store, my father was enraged, as I had expected. Tch! Where the hell were you? You even left your work unattended! It, it took a while to buy the parts. How long do you need to buy one item? I swear, you're useless! I swore in my heart that I'd never lie to go have fun, but... The next day... Hey, I'm here to hang out with you again. From that day on, Chihiro-san came to the shop every single day. I kept repeating, don't let her convince me, don't let her convince me, in my head, but... Are you having fun? Hell yeah! Okay then. Please give it up for my last song, Sakura. <sighs> Today was so fun, too. Oh, a high schooler. Tamaki-kun, do you want to go to school? Oh, uh, yeah. The truth is, I didn't want to work at an auto repair shop. I actually wanted to be a doctor. I was always good with my studies in the past, and I think that a job that helps other people is amazing. Of course, being a car mechanic is a good job, too. But there's no way my dad would allow me to be a doctor if I told him I wanted to be one. I see. We might be a little late, but 
Is it okay if I take a detour? What? I can't. If I don't go home soon, my dad is going to lecture me again. Come on, you'll be fine. I'll take you somewhere nice. The place that Chihiro-san ended up bringing me to was... The home of the internationally acclaimed company, the Moraboshi Corporation! Whoa! It's just like I saw on TV! Oh, Moriboshi-sama. Long time no see. Hey, Chihiro. It's been a while. What's the matter? Actually, it's about this boy. I feel so bad for him. I see. I understand your situation. What if you enroll in a special school by our corporation? We have special courses that will allow you to take prerequisites for the Moroboshi Corporation's medical school. There are also a bunch of students that have the same background as you. I'm sure you'll be able to make friends quickly. But I don't have money to pay for that kind of education! You can pay your tuition back when you become a doctor in the future. It's almost like an investment in your future. What? What were you playing at, you stupid son? I'm sorry. Besides, who is this woman? Were you the one who gave Takumi unnecessary details? Unnecessary? I didn't do that. I was just supporting Takumi-kun's dreams to get an education and become a doctor. Get an education and become a doctor? What kind of stupid nonsense are you saying? Takumi's going to take over my auto repair shop. Isn't that right, Takumi? Huh? Come on, say something. The truth is, I've always wanted to become a doctor. Today, I was invited to enroll in the Moroboshi Corporation's special school. I want to go there. What? Stop playing around. What's going to happen to my store? I'm sorry. You! You should stop there, or else we're going to report you to the police. You! Are you the owner of that junk car? Yes, I forgot about giving you my introduction. Here's my business card. Mani Mani Automobile Corporation? I got a call from Moroboshi-sama and stopped by here, but I guess it was good timing. Sir? Did you make your decision? Yeah. Let's get going then. By the way, it seems like Takumi-kun was doing most of the repairs in this shop, right? This auto repair shop was popular because of its high-level skills. But I have a feeling that with Takumi-kun gone, it's going to go bankrupt quickly. I mean, even if that happens, serves you right, doesn't it? Ah! A few months after that, I enrolled in the Moroboshi Corporation's special school. I spent all my time focusing on my studies and playing around for all those times that I spent stuck in the auto repair shop. Hey Takumi-kun, let's go bowling after school today. Sounds good! We finished our exam week, so I've been wanting to take a breather. Takumi-kun, your scores on the last test were at the top of our grade again, wasn't it? That's amazing. At this rate, you're almost guaranteed acceptance into the Moroboshi Corporation's medical school. At that time... Hey man! Stop dozing off and stock up the merchandise already! Yes! If only Takumi were still here. I could have had a relaxing life lounging around in the auto repair shop. Why do I have to do something like this? What? Did you say something? No, I'll get right to it. Oops! Oh no! I overslept a little. Huh? Takumi? What about your breakfast? I'm in a rush, so I'll skip breakfast this morning. Thank you, though. Hey, you forgot something. This is embarrassing. Be safe and have fun. Yeah, I will. All right, then. I'm going to study hard today, too. Just watch, Mom. I'm going to be a doctor and save a whole bunch of people one day. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!